hold a feast. When can I hold feasts again? Uh, the month is at least November. Okay, we'll wait till November. We're going to hold a feast this time, I think. And I thought I heard something outside. Hmm. Um, the white book. Let's have the white book. Uh, no to a pass. Okay, no to a, pa no to a pass member. Current members? There's none. I don't think he's made... I'm guessing he doesn't make the King's Guard until... Um, Westeros is completely unified and he's made the Iron Throne because actually it's still called Westeros not the Iron Throne so that's a good point good point by me check the Valerian oh, oh, check the Valerian sword Ufo of Hearts Home the West March yep still got it obviously Core Iron still got there Bear Island as well and Castamere still got theirs yep Show dragons. Dragon riders. Yep. Just the free Targaryens. Wild dragons? No. Char dragons? No. Dragon eggs. And the king is a dragon egg. Okay. That's interesting. There technically could be four dragons if you can get the dragon egg to hatch. I'm not sure though if the AI is knows how to hatch the eggs. So I know at one point they didn't know... There was one point in early um, version of the mod where they couldn't seem to ride the dragons or turn into dragon riders they would just have wild dragons forever um, but yeah hopefully they know the hatch dragons that would be pretty cool if there was four dragons I'm actually not sure if you can kill dragons either actually I'm assuming you can kill dragons Ah, uh, oh, my wife died I could always marry 58 years young you know I could marry again uh, Let's marry again. We'd keep everything going. Would you like to marry me? <laughs> uh, oh, she's pregnant. God damn you, Bessa. She was she was the smart fray, I think. <laughs> she knew it'd destroy her line for inheritance of the crossing. We do have a sibling, though. Oh, Harden. Okay, though, after his mother married again. That's no good. We need to find a daughter. Sibling? No. Okay. Garth? Ooh. Ooh. I could marry Leonette. Even though she doesn't seem... This would be more for political reasons. Torrin knows this. He knows he's not going to marry for love. He married the love of his life before. Just had all daughters. Wow. <sighs> That's impressive. Maybe I can marry the queen. Well, the princess. She never remarried. You know? Maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Ooh. Oh, no. I just think if they had a kid, I'm that kid would then inherit her dragons, probably. I think. But then I realised she's too old. So yeah, she's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, no point really. I mean, it would give us an alliance with them, but they're going to invade us at some point, so I don't think it's going to help too much. This guy, I completely hate this guy. Look at this. He's just a cruel bastard. My daughter's giving him a load of sons, though. Some of them are probably bastards, though. Nope. Nope. No, oh wow, he's pretty faithful. That's that's interesting. Okay. Well, I guess the best choice is his daughter. If they'll let me marry her. And there we go. I have to do that, because if we marry and we have a kid... Which is going to be hard because I'm very old, but it could happen. We'll get an alliance then with the Reach. Even though it probably won't help much because they're under Targaryens. But it might mean they might not help him out if he invades us. So, I'm trying to work my options. Iron Islands can't do. Arryn can't do. Got the Westerns, got the Riverlands. Well, the River Run. Got Dawn. Can't get um, Stormlands. Well, we could possibly. But this one we actually might gain inheritance. Yeah, let's do it. 
Marry this pretty little thing. <laughs> okay. I feel bad for Leonette, but you know. Uh, no people respect wealth. There we go. What is this? Host a wedding feast? Do you know what? I might just do that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I've given the orders for a wedding to be hosted in Winterfell. Let the preparations begin. The old man to the young girl. 58, 16. You never know. We never know. And all my vassals will be there. This could be... I, I don't know what this does. I haven't done this before. Um, time passes, yet to me the world seems unreal. It's as if life without Jonella is but a mama's farce. I am lost in this sea of loneliness. I know not where to turn. Oh, it's a good job I married him, isn't it? Um, damn yourself and wine, women, and song. He's quite content, I think, and he's quite... Yeah, he Torn thinks about stuff. He doesn't just do stuff. Um, use having books, songs, and wisdoms of others. That, that might be what he does. Uh, seek souls in the arms of another. Mm, this is the answer I move on with my life. Let's go with that. They were married for a long time. Let's go for that. Um, the world is such a scary place. I've gained the crave. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? That's not the last thing we need. <laughs> okay. Damn, we have now good military leader. That is depressing. Because I was going to hold a feast anyway, so we might as well have a wedding feast. Uh, the best part about holding a wedding is organising the whole event. Oh, great. I spend lavishly to show out my house's power. I don't have to make it nice. Spend too much on it. Let's make it nice. We are king in the north. We are independent. Let's make it great. Our house is powerful. Um, most preparations for the wedding have been made. Now I only have to send out the invitations. I hope I invite you, everyone. Ooh. What's going on? Ooh. Prin attacking Prince in the... Uh, Prince Lewin the Wicked in King Aenon's Corncross at Dawn. Why has he not called me in? I'm his ally. I'm too busy having a wedding. Damn you, King Aenys. You took this chance while I was having my wedding feast to attack Dawn. You son of a bitch. Uh, who's actually helping him then? The Reach, Stormlands, Westerlands, and the Vale. Ooh, the Westerlands is helping this time. He's going to get destroyed. Uh, the guests have finally arrived. All is ready. And servants have worked day and night to prepare and decorate the dance hall. And the castles never look lovelier. Welcome to the wedding. <sighs> How's he not called me in? I'd assumed he would have called me in to help. Ooh. That's being part of the Iron Islands? Interesting. Whoa. Okay, he's lost his eyes. But the Malisters has become part of the Iron Islands in, you know, constituency. Lord Feon cut the throat of one of my servants when the clumsy man spilled wine over his garb. Um... Yeah, just just so you know, Mr. Um, oh, you're from Skagosi. Well, that explains everything. Um, you're not meant to do that, Apai. He did the right thing. Um, I'm going to imprison him. That's not just. Imprison him is just, you know. He just killed a man for no reason, really. I gained the cruel trait? Are you kidding me? He cut someone's throat when he was cl You're just a little bit clumsy. And I gained the trait just. What? How is that just? I'm confused. I guess in the eyes of the vassals that's just. That I'm helping them, being nice. He did the right thing. That's insane. Um. I guess I'm a bit craven now. Um. Bribe the servant, I guess. A bit craven, so yeah, let's go with that. Seems a bit silly. Okay, while I was busy preparing for my wedding, a troop of wandering jugglers arrived in the castle. Jongler is it jugglers? Jonglers? Hmm. They look a bit ragged, but the performance entertained the whole castle. Perhaps I should think about offering them my patronage. Uh Yeah, let's just take them one. Vows had been exchanged and the bedding went great. And everyone agreed it was the greatest wedding feast held in some time. 
I had a great fun, and so did everyone else. Ah. Taking my mind off my dead wife, basically. This is what this is about. Uh, King Torin's first wedding is over, and it's time to begin the long way home. After the music, the entertainment, and the warmth, the real world suddenly feels cold and hostile. Will there be another wedding? Uh, probably not. I'm probably going to be dead soon. Well, at least not for weddings for me, but maybe someone else. Okay, apparently I feel better now. See? The wedding, the wedding helped. I'm not depressed anymore. <laughs> Okay, three children still, three girls. She's probably now getting a bit old. Okay, I've got so much freaking money. God. At least it means, I guess, when I can hire a load of mercenaries. It's not too bad. Very stable. There was definitely a stable in Winterfell. I'm sure there was. So we need one. Uh, ooh. Princess Moria Dawn has been imprisoned. How dare you imprison my kin? She is my daughter. Ooh. She has an eagle. Always follows her character. That is awesome. But no, this can't be. King Aenys the Dragonfly. That is a cool name. Wow. The Dragonfly. They have some nice nicknames in this, I have to admit. They go quite well. Okay. Well, I'm not happy at all. Can we save? I think there's like a intrigue to save or something. Can't see one. Is it a plot? Rescue Princess Mora Dawn. Yes. I'm definitely going to try and save her. She is my daughter. A dairy. Issue demand for Mora's release. Ooh. What happens if it... <laughs> What happens if we don't get it? We'll leave it. We'll leave it a couple of months. See if he lets it go. Yeah, it looks like they went straight for Dawn and took it. Um, well, for Sunspear. One idiot. You're an absolute fool. Ah, why did I ally with Dawn? My daughter. My daughter. No. Hopefully she... Okay. Okay. King Aenys the Dragonfly declared Aenys' conquest of the North on me, King Torin the Just. Okay. This isn't good. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We knew this was coming. We knew this was coming. I can, ooh, I can call the Reach in. Maybe, yeah, I don't think they will. Come on, Tullys. Come on, Westerlands. Okay, that's it. Damn it, we lost Dawn. Well, I'm gonna... I might as well... Okay, I can't ask for her to be set free. That's annoying. <laughs> ask him to... Do you want to come to the plot? Come to the plot to save my daughter. You shall... He's gonna freaking pay he is for taking my daughter. No one takes the King of the North's daughter. And lives to tell the tale. And we can hire mercenaries. So many mercenaries. How much they got? They're all 75, yeah. Okay, apart from these ones. But yeah, we can hire a load of mercenaries as well. We'll see how many men they've got. Uh, who's already declared for him already? Okay, no one. Okay, because... Ooh. Wow, they're already behind me. Can they cross? Yeah, they can. Okay, you guys from the Heath. Yeah, the Heath and the Hill clansmen. You take these places. Uh, can Bear Iron make it across? Yeah, they can. Okay, then. You'll get there. Well, we'll bring you down here. Everyone else, we're heading straight down. Taking the neck. We can't let them through the neck. Never. I'm just a bit worried though, obviously, with the Greyjoys, they'll make their way down. <laughs> they must hold the neck until we get there. Yeah, I'm just slightly worried the Greyjoys are going to pop in and pay a little visit to me. This shall be the first army, because they're going to be one most likely to meet people. Um, better take my council off. Okay, we need you. 
Hofer of Arundel. We need you. I should better check my councillor. Right, like people. Yep, he's the best. Owen. Ooh. Jeroel, my son. He's pretty good at diplomacy. Then he's a pretty good warrior as well. We might need him. Uh, we'll see in a second. Okay, yeah, let's look at the best military guys are. Him, okay, and then my son. Does that include me, though? I'm about as good as my son. But I should lead it. I am Torin. I am the king. I'll lead it. That means my son can be Master of Lords. There we go. Master of Coin is still her. He's by far still the best. Okay, we'll leave it like that for now. Yeah, set my brigade. Okay, what's he good at? Defender, okay. Light foot. Hmm. You can take down the centre because you're a defender. Uh, again, leads from the rear. Okay, moral damage minus 10%. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, you can go there. And I'll take this side. King Torrin bows down to no one. Unlike history. <laughs> but yeah, I'm worried about the Greyjoys. The Greyjoys are going to be all shit. Okay. <sighs> Your Grace, Aenys Targaryen, the renowned dragon rider, has declared war. He claims the North by right of conquest and demands our immediate surrender. Surely we cannot fight against such beach. Surely we must surrender. Yes, it is the wisest course. Never. Never! 